Hey guys, it's your girl Afro Uniquely Beautiful and I'm coming back at you guys today to share with you guys six tips that have helped me to grow my hair over the years. The first tip that I have for you guys today is patience. And I know that you guys have probably heard this from every channel, every hair vlogger on YouTube, but patience is the most important thing because of the simple fact that everybody's hair grows at a different rate. And so if you're really paying attention to how, how fast or how long it takes for somebody else to grow their hair, that can make your journey very frustrating. Um, when I first cut off my hair, I really had to have patience because of the simple fact that it was my first time ever having short hair ever in life. And so I really had to have patience with my hair as far as learning how to deal with my hair, the, the new texture that I had, or, or at least returning back to the texture that I've had pretty much my whole life. Um, and then also I had to have patience with the rate that my hair was growing at and I also had, I had to have patience with finding different things that was going to work for my hair. It was very hard for me to take care of short hair because I'd never had short hair in my life. And so um, bouncing back from that was pretty hard but it took me some, you know, it took me um, a long time to get used to what it took for me to be able to take care of my hair, for to help my hair grow, you know, have patience and all that other good stuff. So patience is the first thing that I feel like has helped me a lot to grow my hair on this journey. I notice when I'm a lot less patient with my hair my hair takes a different turn like as far as that's when I usually have the most tangles that's usually when I have the most breakage that's usually when my hair starts to thin a lot of times when I'm not being patient with my hair so the second thing that I have for you guys today is low no, low manipulation uh, slash protective styling um, I was a big fan of low manipulation hairstyles in like the first two to three years of my hair journey. Um, I used to wear my hair always in protective styles. I used to always wear twists. I used to wear braids. I rocked weaves for a really long time. And so I was never having to deal with actually being in my hair. And so for that matter, my hair literally grew like wildfire. Um, when I started getting bored of the protective styles and started getting bored of wearing weave all the time, I wanted to experiment with my own hair. I dyed my hair for the first time ever in life. Um, I did a few cuts on my hair. I did a lot of different things with my hair for the last two years of my journey and I can say that my hair has suffered a lot from it but at the same time I know that low manipulation hairstyles have is what helped me to grow my hair in the first place so I know at this point I have to revert back to the things that have helped me in the past instead of focusing on the things that I know have not helped me in the future um, as far as protective styling goes, um, there's a lot of things that you can do during protective styling that can cause your hair not to grow. But as far as me being able to figure out the things that are going to help my hair growing under a protective style, I do know that um, protective styling has helped my hair a lot. These days, I'm actually wanting to revert back to protective styling because of the simple fact that I know I'm trying to regrow back out my hair from that big cut that I did in December of 2015. And so for me, I'm actually coming into a lot more new um, protective styles these days than I have been in the last two years. Um, the third thing that I have for you guys is having a less is more regimen. When I first cut off my hair, I had a regimen to where I was washing my hair at once every single week. I was deep conditioning my hair once every single week. And for that matter, my hair was always well moisturized. I really never had to worry about single strand knots. My hair was never really breaking ever. It was never thin. It was never dry. Everything was all good with my hair when I had a less is more regimen. Meaning the less I did to my hair, the more my hair grew. And so, um, that is something that I have strayed away from over the years because I've I've had like this thing these last two years where I really don't want to try I really want to try new things with my hair I wanted to experiment I wanted to have fun and that is what got me outside of my less is more regimen but these days like I said I'm kind of reverting back to a lot of things that have worked for me in the past um, the fourth thing I have for you guys is trimming slash dusting my, dusting my ends but not doing it too frequently um, over the years I've never had a set like specific time where I felt like I had to actually cut my hair or trim my hair or dust my hair. I find myself dusting my hair a lot more than I do myself trims and cuts, but I don't do it as often because a lot of times when you're trying to grow out your hair, you're actually cutting off hair that's actually not damaged when you're cutting it all the time. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that will get on here and say, hey, you have to cut your, you have to trim your hair every eight months. You have to trim your hair every six months or you have to, have to, have to, have to. And honestly, I don't really think that that's the best thing to do because of the simple fact that sometimes your hair actually might be in a healthy state and you may not even need to trim or cut your hair. So for that matter, don't put yourself on a schedule to trim your hair and then realize that your hair is not even damaged for it to need a trim or a cut in the first place. So I trim my hair as needed. So if my hair doesn't need it, I don't do it. So I feel like that's helped me and my hair growth journey because if my hair is going, I'm not gonna cut off hair that doesn't need to be cut. Um, so the fifth thing that I have for you guys is realizing that products are not everything. In the beginning of my journey, I knew that, and so I kind of stuck to the basic things that I knew was gonna be good for my hair. I knew the things that worked for my hair. I stuck to those. It wasn't that big of a deal for me to go out and buy new products. Then further on, along in my journey, I honestly got on the bandwagon with everybody else. I started watching YouTube videos, and I started seeing a lot of people buying all these products, so I said, hey, why not? 
went on shopping spree bought all these products and realized that half of them didn't do for my hair what the basic ones actually did for my hair so I had to realize that products were not everything it's more about your technique you could use all the best products in the world and your hair still not grow if you're not taking care of your hair the way it's supposed to, do, to, to be taken care of if you're not um, deep conditioning your hair if you're not doing all the stuff that your hair actually needs products are not gonna make your hair grow that's just the reality of it everybody some people might have a different opinion there are good products out there that help your hair grow but as far as making your hair grow guaranteeing that your hair is gonna grow I feel like that's more of technique and how, how you take care of your hair how you use those products versus what products you're actually using so the sixth and final thing that I have for you guys that I feel like has helped me to grow my hair over the years is consistency and sticking to my regimen. Um, like I said, these last two years, things have been kind of crazy with my hair. I've experienced some thinning. I've experienced breakage. My hair was just doing all kinds of crazy stuff that it hasn't done before, but I know it's because I wasn't sticking to my regimen. In the beginning of my um, you know, journey, towards the middle of my journey, I was doing the same thing all the time. My hair was going like wildfire. My hair literally got to the middle of my back. And then when I stopped taking care of my hair, when I stopped doing protective styles, when I stopped deep conditioning every week, when I stopped washing my hair every week, when I stopped doing all the things that I knew worked for my hair, my hair started to break, it started to get thin. It just is not as long as it used to be. And then I also had to cut it in December of 2015. So if you're trying to regrow out your hair, if you're trying to grow your hair in general, if you're trying to get your hair healthy, just make sure that you're being consistent with whatever you're doing. And make sure you're being consistent with things that are going to work for your hair. Because if you're being consistent with stuff that are not working for your ha hair at all, then you can almost guarantee that you're not going to see the results that you're looking for. So those are the six things that I have for you guys today. I can't think of anything else that um, is really standing out to me as far as what's helped me to grow my hair over the years. But um, I'm actually going to do another video on this, but I'm just going to mention in this video just because. Um, but you also got to think about genetics and how genetics plays a role in how your hair actually grows don't pay attention to the next guy they may have cut up their hair and two years down there two years later their hair is literally down to their butt but just because you cut off your hair two years later doesn't mean your hair is gonna be down to your butt either because you guys have different genetics there's different things that are that factor into why your hair is or is not growing everybody has in my opinion everybody has like a lifespan for their hair to where their hair can only grow a certain length and based on your genetic you know uh, based on your family and and their genetics your hair may not may not grow down to your butt like the next person that you see on YouTube so the most thing the most important thing is for you to pay attention to, for you to know that pay attention to that and not really watch others like don't be focused on somebody else's hair you have to focus on your own hair if your hair is not gonna be down your butt then so what you have to love your hair exactly at whatever stage that it is at the time that it is so um, that's all the tips that I have that have helped me to grow my, your, my hair over the years let me know in the comment section below what you guys have been doing for your hair growth over the years what are some tips that you have that I have not mentioned that you can share with the group just let me know in the comment section below what are your ideas on things that you can do that has helped you to grow your hair over the years it's your girl Afro Beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next video